Lyft is breaking its silence on Uber as the competitor continues to struggle through the resignation of its CEO, Travis Kalanick. Lyft co-founder and president John Zimmer told the New York Times, quote, there's nothing to celebrate in this situation, but it does shine a light on the importance of values and ethics. He continued, a lot of people are asking, is this the moment? I've said for a while that we will win. Former Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer defended Kalanick at an event in Silicon Valley, quote, scale is incredibly tricky. I count Travis as one of my friends. I think he's a phenomenal leader. Uber is ridiculously interesting. Went on to say that uh, she did not think he really understood the problems of the culture because when you're scaling that fast, it's hard to keep up. This is a weird, I think, comment from Marissa Meyer. I understand friendship and loyalty, and, and clearly uh, she knows him on a personal level. The part about not knowing what was going on in the culture, I mean, he was very much a part of the culture. We all saw that, uh, that video from the Uber driver where he's addressing him saying, you got to take responsibility for your stuff. And I'm paraphrasing there. I mean, that he didn't know? Come on, I wonder what her angle is. Yeah. And as for Lyft, I mean, the numbers show that it is gaining market share. USA Today took a look, June 5th, 2017. It had about 22% market share versus 78 for Uber. A year before, it was only 7.7% for Lyft. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that, obviously. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.